Developing tonight, an investigation is underway after a military jet crashed near Marine Corps Air Station, Buford. It happened this afternoon. WSAB's Brian Gallagher has what you know about what we know about the crash so far and what a witness saw. It sounded like a jet accelerated low altitude. And then immediately following that, it sounded like a flame out. And I looked across the whale branch from our porch and this huge boom came up and then a column of fire and smoke rose up about 400 feet. An F-A-18 Hornet jet like the one in the picture here came down around 315 Thursday afternoon on Half Moon Island. The smoke could be seen in Yamasi. A witness who spoke with WSAV watched the aftermath unfold from his porch. The column of smoke and fire burned for probably at least an hour. I did see two parachutes come out. They were, when I saw them, about 200 feet, I would estimate, above the tree line. The Marine Corps says the crash happened during a training exercise. The Buford County Sheriff's Office confirmed that both pilots survived the incident. Fortunately, the pilot and co-pilot uh, are safe, and uh, deputies were in contact with them, uh, as well as uh, fire personnel. It's uninhabited. Uh, it's a it's a wooded area. So again, that's uh, fortunate. It went down where it did. The Marine Corps tells WSAV the pilots were training right before their jet went down. They were conducting routine training, uh, everyday training that we do here at the air station to remain ready. The cause of the crash is unknown, but currently under investigation by federal authorities. Reporting in Buford, Brian Gallagher, WSAV News 3, on your side. A military plane last crashed in a Buford County neighborhood in 2018. The pilot wasn't hurt then either. The F-35 Lightning came down roughly 10 miles from today's crash site.